This leg right here that I'm shaking in my right hand, this white one, cost me 12 cents. And this brown one, this cage-free egg, 70 cents. Is it worth the price jump? Is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my thing down, flip it and reverse it. You guys, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. A very fun one here today. A video that I don't traditionally do is this, but I'm pumped because these Vital Farms eggs, this one right here, it's been a staple in the Ely household for years, and we've been eating them and loving them, and we've really gone away from the very cheap, buy them for the cheapest you can find them, white eggs, not only for the humane reasons of all the cage freeness, but really the flavor, but I've never had them side by side. And Donna Hall said, today you're going to. So let's put our hands together today for Donna Hall. You're a rock star. Sean, I see you eating those Vital Farms eggs all the time and I gotta know, are they really worth the six times in price difference? Put one of those against a white one, the cheapest you can find, and see if it's worth it. Went to Jewel Osco here in Chicago today for a dozen white eggs, $1.49, that's 12 cents per egg, just about 12 and some change, right before 13 cents. And then absolutely wild when you compare it to Vital Farms, eight, 49, seven more dollars. Now, Vital Farms is a brand. I mean, they got a YouTube, a beautiful YouTube channel all about the sustainability and the way they approach chickens in general. It's unnecessary to show you them up close. You know what a brown egg looks like as opposed to a white egg, but I wouldn't be doing what I do if I didn't overproduce something for the vlog. <laughs> to do this, I'm gonna throw some butter in a pan and fry them on opposite sides of the pan so they don't touch. And we're gonna try these as is. No salt, no pepper, no seasonings. And honestly, is if this one is better, is it worth it being so ungodly more expensive? And then my favorite way to eat eggs is just to slide it on top of a crispy piece of bread and use that fork to kind of, uh, all of it. You're getting a preview of it now. Let's get into it. Some butter. Du -du 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 DJ lard. Manteca de cerdo. Butter's looking nice and melty. I'm kind of a nerd and excited about the difference in these yolks. There's our white egg. And there's our brown egg. I mean, definitely, I don't know if the camera shows it. This one is way oranger. This one's kind of like a sunny D color. <laughs> We've got our standoff here. This one that I'm pushing on. This is the white over here. This is the brown. Toast some bread back here. Captain America shield. Just kind of let the steam hook up the top a little bit. I love a runny yolk. That's a nude egg I won from my game. These are looking perfect. Take those off the heat. Got a nice little sourdough here. A little bit more butter. Okay, we're gonna take our 12 cent egg. Lay that right on top like so. And our 70 cent egg. And do the same. I mean, to the untrained eye, <laughs> this one is barely different looking. I mean, just an orange -er color there, but other than that, I mean, they're eggs. Not true. But you can buy about 40 of these for one of the- <laughs> That one egg was 40 eggs? What are you talking about, Marcus? That math doesn't check out. I just really wanted to use a Tim Robinson clip. Okay, right here, 12 cents. Okay, right here, 70 cents. Silver fork for the 12 center, and then we'll have a gold fork for the 70 center. Break this yolk just a little bit here, a little bit of a run. And then I'm just gonna try this little piece of it without toast first. You got the yolk, you got the white. I just love eggs. Like some people really hate eggs. Some people really don't like sunny side up eggs. I get it. It's kind of weird and runny, but I love it. There's nothing wrong with that at all. <laughs> Every diner in America you go to is using those. Probably worse. Now a little run of the overpriced egg, or is it? Remember, no salt, no pepper. I would normally season these up, but like, eggs are just good as is. That's a whole food, man. All right, little white, little yolk of the Vital Farms. Wow, it's almost like a little cleaner. Try it with the bread. My dad used to make eggs on toast for us and we would like cut it all up so every square was just easy to stick a fork in and have it and he just made it so accessible and simple. Okay, there's a little bit of everything on a nice crispy piece of sourdough. 
Mm. All right, back to the silver fork. There we go. 12 cent egg. Hmm. Okay, really the the whites are like identical in my mind. 12 cent. Okay. That that really does it. 70 cent. Yeah. Okay. That bites cement in it. This just has more flavor. Like, it's a little more punch of just like salty egginess. Like it just comes through. This, once you have this a couple bites in and you go back to this, it starts to taste a little more muted. Is it $7 more expensive for a carton worth? <laughs> I think if you're somebody who obsesses over eggs and eats them constantly and you really care about the wellness of chickens, which we all should. The more expensive ones make sense. And honestly, we're getting to a point now where groceries are just so damn expensive, like bacon and eggs and milk. It's just going up and up and up. So we're all suffering. <laughs> this is the Vital Farms. Yeah. Wow. I could eat just a sunny side up egg on a buttered piece of toast every, like every meal and be fine. <laughs> I do the same thing with the cheaper one, just really how I eat these. Large amount of the egg, a large amount of the yolk, and then a large amount of the bread. Wow. It takes a few bites. Damn, that one really is so much more flavorful. Like, it's like you're, it's like not right away. Like your tongue like needs its coffee first. Like you have a couple bites and it's like, oh, we're eating eggs. Oh, that's nice. And then once you get the back and forth, the Vital Farms just pops. The real reality of the situation is, I wish Vital Farms eggs were like $4.49 and not $8.49 at my grocery. I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> is it? I don't know. There's crazier things. You're crazy. You're crazy. I love like a shitty diner with like burnt coffee and just like sunny side up eggs. Definitely like the cheap ones over a skillet. Like I love that all day, every day. Like eggs to me are kind of like the working man's food. <laughs> like gun to my head, if I had to say if it's worth seven more dollars, I can't in my right mind say yes. I just don't buy enough eggs where it would bankrupt me. You know what I mean? Like I, we get like a carton of eggs a week. Like if I have to spend six, seven bucks more, cause I, I really try to shop when they're on sale. If I, if I have to do that, I like, I just feel better too about the Vital Farms eggs. I mean, either way, I'm satiated and happy on a Wednesday morning and we cleaned it. We cleaned it, we cleared it. Donna, very curious if you have a hard take on one or the other. And really this, I think this is what Donna was trying to do, is this is really like a jumping off point to where you guys kind of fall in the, the egg world right now. Do you eat a lot of eggs? Do you like, do you buy cheap ones? You don't even care. Are you like, I need cage free? Are you like, I need the Rolls Royce of eggs? Some people special order their eggs delivered to their house because like I've seen some bodybuilders and some rich people who are like, oh, I only get them from this farm. And look, a lot of us out here are grinding. I get that. And you're like, look, I just can't mentally spend $8 on a carton of eggs. I don't care how much better they are. I get that too. I don't really know where I fall. I just know that side by side, the yolks of the Vital Farms punch. Fun little different one here today, Donna. It's all because of you, DH. Uh, the Venmo, the catch of the PayPal, if you have ideas like this, this show, this vlog is entirely driven by the people that watch it and donate to the show to buy the food and make these episodes. So it just takes my time to eat it, edit it, and put it out to you guys. So I really appreciate that. And as always, look at all the names on the Rory Boyle fan club. We didn't have any Rory Boyle today, but I'll tell you what, we did have some yolks that danced in my mouth. So. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll see you guys very soon for another video. I appreciate you being here. Some fun ones coming up. Dude, Nathan Peterson, a legendary fan donator on the show, had me go to Italy and pick up all the ingredients for a carbonara, an authentic Italian carbonara, like from Rome. So we're gonna do that scene on the vlog. So thank you to him and uh, we'll see you guys very soon. Some cheap and some expensive eggs up, some cheap and some expensive eggs down. It's all relative, depending on how you are and how you insert your, you get it, be good to each other. Love it how you move it, how you wind it up. We can jump into it, we can line it up. We can stay slow with you, me. We can stay slow with you, me, girl. Be somebody tonight, doing that dance, digging that dance, I know. Be somebody tonight, be somebody tonight. Pull up, pull up on me, we've got so much.
do 